Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Linux command line tutorial for beginners. And in this video, we will talk about bash rc file in uh, Linux and how we can use it and what is bash rc file. So first of all, what is bash rc file? The bash rc file is a script that is executed whenever a new terminal session is started in interactive mode, right? So, first of all, for example, you uh, open your terminal and uh, just check whether you are in your home directory or not. By default, you are already in uh, home directory whenever you open your terminal, right? Now, in here, you can just write ls minus a for uh, the listing and you will be able to see there is a file called dot bash rc. And this is the file which is responsible whenever you open a new terminal. This file is executed. This is a kind of a script which is executed first whenever you open a new terminal session, right? So let's go inside this dot bash rc file. So you can use nano to display the content of this bash rc file. So just write uh, nano dot bash rc and you can go inside this file and you can see the content of uh, this file like this. Or I'm going to just exit by just pressing control x or you can use the command called g edit. So just write g edit and then dot bash rc, right? This is also a kind of GUI editor which is used uh, as an editor for uh, your uh, you know text file or any other file right so just write gedit and dot bash rc and press enter and this is going to open this file in this kind of uh, gui editor right so in uh, some operating system i'm talking about the linux operating systems this bash rc file is already there and some scripts are already there inside this bash rc file. So for example, I'm using this Ubuntu operating system and it already have a bash rc file and it already have this kind of script inside this bash rc file, right? Now in some other kind of Linux operating system, a few days ago I was using, for example, Linux Mint it doesn't have this uh, bash rc file right so any way if uh, it exists it's okay and if it doesn't exist you can just create one for you using this get g edit command or nano command it doesn't matter right so now what we were talking is uh, that this script is executed whenever you open a new terminal right so whatever you add to the script it will be executed first whenever you open a new terminal session, right? So just go at the end of uh, this file. And if you create a new dot bash rc file, it's okay. Just uh, go at the end or uh, if you uh, have a new, just write there. Just write, for example, echo and then in double quotes, this is a test, right? So just write this uh, command here. You already know what is echo command, right? And then just close uh, this bash rc file. Okay. And now we are going to open a new terminal session. And this terminal session I can open from here. Just uh, go to file. And then you can just say open tab. Or you can just uh, press control shift T to open the new tab you can see the new tab is open so this is first tab we were in and this is the new tab we have created and as soon as we have created this new tab this text we have written in the bash rc file is uh, executed right so this is a test and this was uh, we have written a echo command for this right so using this we know that this bash rc file is called first because it's uh, executing our echo command also and then uh, your uh, you know your uh, normal terminal operation you can do right once again we can add it uh, the bash rc content so i'm going to just uh, go to the get it command so get g edit 
dot bash rc and this time instead of echoing something i can uh, use uh, some aliases for example right so for example what i can do here is instead of uh, echoing i can do a uh, alias so just write alias ls is equal to for example we want to do the long listing and the color also so ls minus minus color is equal to auto and then we will say minus uh, l also we want to do the long listing also right and i will save the content and i will close this and once again i can just uh, close this tab and uh, open the new tab this time i will go here and then click open tab and now whenever i do ls and press enter it's going to do the long listing with the color options for me right so in this way you can customize your bash rc file uh, mostly we use this bash rc file for a number of things for example if you want to set up the environment variables uh, whenever for example you install java you need to set up the java home environment variable and this can be done using this bash rc file right or whenever you want to use git and they, you want to see uh, which uh, you know repository you have checked in or you have cloned you can write a script for this and then you uh, will be able to see in the terminal itself uh, which uh, you know version or which um, you know git script uh, git repository you have right so for this bash rc file is really useful so i hope you understood the basic concept of dot bash rc file i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now